Hey guys, it is Ray here with you today. Today I'm playing with the pink eyeshadows and I'm inspired by all that beautiful blooms going on at the springtime. So to learn how to do this look, stay with me and let's rock it! Let's start with priming our eyes. And whoa! <laughs> I can't believe it, but it is not what I use usually. But this little guy right here, it is NYX eyeshadow base. This is one of the things I'm trying out today. It's new. So let's check the texture out. It's sealed. Soundless and it's so creamy, oh my goodness. Let's go ahead and give it a try. On a bottle, it states that uh, this is a base for true stay on, stay put and stay long. So I hope it does everything it states. Judging on a color, it is as white as chalk that is telling me that it will give a pop of a color. So I truly believe in that, but we will check it in a minute. Basing on a texture, it feels a little bit greasy, but not something overwhelming. Uh, so I hope it will stay put and it will not crease or move or anything. And today, my fave Too Faced Natural Matte Palette, shade Heaven. Let's get our Sonia Kasha Kinder Soul Crease Brush and start the magic. For my transition shade, I'm getting my MAC 224 brush and the same palette, I'm mixing these two colors together. The Lace Teddy and Honey Butter. So I'm getting new brush, it is new, it is Sonia Kashuk 273 brush. And I am going for my MAC Sweet Lost eyeshadows. NYX love you so much. Now with the same brush, I'm grabbing the other NYX Love You So Much, the Electric Pastels palette and digging into this beautiful peachy shade right here. I am so happy I got this brush for the first impression. It is so convenient to work with and it blends everything so nicely. It grabs a lot of pigment and color, very, very easy to apply. So I'm going back to my NYX Love You So Mochi palette, the orangish pink. Now I'm grabbing my Sephora round crease brush and digging into Love You So Mochi Sleek and Shake palette, the lightest shade of the palette. We will apply it to the inner corners of our eyes. Let me give it a slight blend with my Sony Kashuk 273 blending brush. Uh, getting ready for the foundation. Right now, on my face, I will apply oil by Kiehl's Day Reviving Concentrate, and after that, we will go straight to the foundation. I will go hard with my foundation today, and for that, I will use my Maybelline Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. With Sony Kashuk Blender, I will apply it straight to my skin. Here is a 
little tip for you guys. If you put some foundation on your hair, I've been struggling with that a lot, and then I found the way. So usually I use the button part of my blender to blend the foundation out, but when I do the misses like this, I use the clean part and just wipe it off. And look, it's not messy anymore. So you're welcome. Good old trusty Fit Me by Maybelline concealer. Right now, I'm gonna do the baking with my MAC 116 brush and with my MAC set powder. However, I'm gonna do only under the eye area. I feel like I do need some extra at that region. However, I don't want to put some extra anywhere else because this foundation, it wears like a dream. As soon as you apply it on, it dries down and it doesn't move, it doesn't crease, it, it just works wonders. I mean, it is very, very trusty foundation. So, Use it for special occasions and you will not miss. I've decided to go for the cream contour and contouring the stick is the top of my face. So I'm gonna use my beloved NYX Wonder Stick and contour that face. Sony Kashuk Large Powder Brush number 100 from her professional series. I will wipe off the bake first. And the second, I will apply my MAC Selecture Powder all over this face. For the blushes, I'm using my It Cosmetics 227 blush brush and my MAC Summer Rose. Let's do the brows and finish our eyes and then we'll have even more fun! For brows, I'm using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. For the lower lash line, I'm getting my MAC 228 eyeshadow brush and I'm digging into my NYX Love You So Mochi Sleek and Chic palette. Shade Hillster in my Jackie Hill palette. For mascara, I'm using my Hot and Naughty by MAC. So the mascara is there. Let me apply my lashes off camera and I'll be right back. Magic! Lashes are on, so let's do the highlighter. I'm getting my MAC 116 brush and MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. My favorite. And I will generously apply it around my eyes, nose, keep it bow little bit of the chin and a forehead.
it gives that beautiful pearly glow to the skin. I also love to apply it a little bit over the forehead, just for extra radiance. Let me do a little pop of the Fascinating by MAC to my waterline. For my lips, I will use Velvet Tease by MAC. I know how insane it sounds, but centuries ago, the bride and the groom could not see each other much, so in every meeting of theirs, uh, they looked their best. And of course, ladies were doing makeup and uh, trying to look the prettiest possible. However, after the wedding, if the husband finds out that the wife is not as pretty as he saw her before because of the makeup, he could go to court and she was accused in a witchcraft in that case. They would be divorced and the husband will be free at the very first second of the court. That was so insane and cruel. <sighs> uh, let's finalize our look with my MAC setting spray, MAC Fix Plus. Whoa, that was fun. So uh, let me give you my quick thoughts uh, on two products I've tested today. This brush, it is a magic, it's must have. Uh, it is very convenient to use, it blends perfectly and it is pretty packed with bristles. So it gives that airbrushed feeling, like the airbrush blending. Uh, I do love it, I will use it. Another good thing into my collection. However, um, not the entire <laughs> testing is positive today. The primer, uh, it's not the best one. I like the uh, idea of the white primer to make the colors pop better and it did that job, but it says that uh, it's long lasting, it stays put and all that in between. However, uh, I mean, you can see it right now, totally can see it, um, let me show you. Here in the crease, there is a lot of eyeshadow stuck there, so it's creasing really badly. And I'm not gonna waste my money on something like that. Uh, first of all, I'm using primer for my shadows to stay put and not get into the crease. That is the top priority and that is the top function for the primer. So this one is a flop, I'm just throwing it away. Um, however, the idea of the white primer, I like that. But they should work on a formula a little better. Okay, here we are at the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed this one because I had so much fun playing with this pink look right here. Can't wait seeing you in my other videos, so stay tuned. Don't forget to check out my channel and subscribe there. Put thumbs up to this video if you liked it. I love you all and until then... Mwah.